All right, everybody, we are back once again. We are going to now pick up these audios and we are going to now play it. We're going to figure out what the hell happened. The events in Bulgaria left the agents Good Lord. badly okay. injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blessman could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated. And oh, of course it is. The latest prostheses. Yeah, amputated. I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general <laughs> observations. Find another recording. Alright. Uh, find another one. Where are the other recordings at anyway? Are they just chilling around here? Bring Larissa a different one, eh? Okay. I gotta find one now. Okay, a lot has been happening in this game, guys. And actually, I don't even know. Are they even gonna? Where the hell is the neck? Like, where is it? Like, I need another tape, but I don't even know where they're all at. It's not like telling me. It's just like. Let's see. I th you think that it would point it out for me, right? Hmm. I guess we have to look for it. That's fine. There it is. Here's another one. Are you serious? I have to go. Dumb. I don't think we're gonna listen to all forty okay, or something. One. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, okay. the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum mm. unit. In order to so we're going to learn a lot right now. Memory recidivism. Plutonium received a new call sign. P3. P3 is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. All right. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. He really does, though. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. Wow, that's embarrassing, dude. I'm just so you're up. a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. I have one already, thank God. Let's give this one a spin. Yep, Proceed please be the last one. Implant the Voskhod neuropolymer brain function extension. Whoa. Objective, total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. That's Code me, name. I think. Plutonium. Attempt number three. P3. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures? Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. 
I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. That's crazy! <laughs> and my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking oh. horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also set you off? No. Yes. Oh, the no. Hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. It just controls like his rage. That's crazy. Wow, he goes that memory. other world. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. Something's gonna happen. I can feel it. What's the plan, Major? Your death? I'm just kidding. He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. Damn, we're playing it all by ear. That's not fun. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Okay. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I, I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? <laughs> oh my huh? god, the language. To explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well, I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We're friends! We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the collective network. On Thanks, Monday, I guess. Everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And you aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, wow. she studied okay. ballet and made significant... All ballet right. And oh, we're still arts. going. Damn it. Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... 
We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. All right, let's go. The launch of Collective is coming. We can't be late. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. Get the hell out of here, right? I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit. Oh, here it goes again. No, not now. Not here. We're going to kill her. It's over. <laughs> we just, we, he just took over. His rage. He's about to kill, we probably just killed her. Ripped her to shreds. Don't even realize it. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. This is going to be insane. I can feel it. Each All right, here we go. My father's library was nothing but the knowledge I sought. I spent my entire life putting those I'm, I'm kind of scared. Just opposing each side. And once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. Hmm. Such an off you prick. That book. Is human greed and human People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. All right, we're still in here. Where science am I right now? Shattered to pieces by the My mind? No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to free. They are all. Well, can you get me out get of this? Of and let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the lie of communism. Give people freedom of choice. Accelerate evolution. Share the I don't feel like this is a freedom of choice. Yeah, we definitely just slaughtered that girl. Huh. So much for bringing her. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity. Granny, hello. Finally back with us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? We were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were uh, a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, uh, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Uh, nothing but blood and ripped off heads uh, everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops Squad. So you must be. Your mother in law, you stupid ignoramus. Oh, you worked shit. for such a <laughs> until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are yeah, you just pretty sitting much. there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Somewhere. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. Oh my god, we did. I knew it. <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done with down, it. Stand down, lady. Then Sechenov can turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet uh, Union, then the rest of the world. Fine, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. 
But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. I'm not laying a finger on Sechenov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little bitch? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Chalamet now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing Moving on, baby. For a Moving of on. The Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking. Yes? You fucked up! This fucking Vosshot polymer extension in my head, oh. it was your invention! You oh. tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Sectionoff wants We're to pissed. knock the bullshit out of people's <laughs> heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me. Or he'd just use Vosshot instead of the thought controller and the shots! You tell him. You're making a mistake. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have killed him. Stop <laughs> oh. squirming, you asshole. Oh, I guess I made my decision here. So this is what happens? There was... <sighs> ah! There. <sighs> That's better. What did I do? Security footage shows oh. Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination left, remains I guess. unknown. Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, but Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage. Interesting. What did I do here? What's next? Okay. Did I... I made the wrong decision, I feel like. No! <laughs> I guess we're done. I don't know. Oh my god. I didn't realize... Guys, I guess I beat the game and I didn't even realize it. Oh my god, I made the wrong decision. I feel like we should have... Oh my god. I thought we were still gonna go fight or something. But I guess the game's over. <laughs> Oops. That sucks. Um... Wow, okay. So I guess we decided not to go fight Sechenov, and now the game ended. He killed Charles, and he has said, screwed him out, and then dipped out. So, wow. Alright, guys. I guess I'll see you guys in the next series. Later, guys.